Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Pork Scientist 7 and welcome to season 15 of Destiny 2, Season of the Lost. And here I am, my beautiful hunter, all ready to start this. Wow. Felt 92. Solo. Wait, why is why are those other colors here? This ain't right. He should be 13 something, not 1292. All right, let's get started. I am Marathal, Queen of the Reef. I once made a great sacrifice to protect humanity from the Hive. I lost everything. My fleet. My brother. My people's very way of life. I watched the dreaming city fall into ruin. Desecrated by Oryx. Cursed by Sabathur. Now I've returned to retake this sacred place, to finally wrest it free from the Hive's claws. Although you have taken things near and dear to me as well, you have also learned that your list of enemies need not be so broadly defined. Today we are afforded a unique opportunity. The road ahead of us is fraught with perilous choices, Guardian. Choose wisely. Old friend, it is an honor to fly alongside you, though our mission is grim. Ikora issued an order for Osiris's arrest. She has questions about his involvement in Lakshmi's attack on the Olympus. I volunteered to collect him from the Dreaming City now hides. No one will touch Osiris until I know the truth. He has acted rashly in the past, but I have never seen him willingly endanger the city. Something is wrong. I have felt it for some time now. He is distant. Help me. I don't like that. I am making way through the opposite flank from you. The hive are swarming. We will be at the mighty craft of old and pincer them. Break their line and meet me at Osiris' signal. Come on. Now you want to fight your way through the dreaming city. Once you kill the combatants in this room, you'll move on to the next, kill everything there, and run into a taken portal. You'll be in the ascendant, ascendant Realm, and you'll make your way through part of the Dreaming City there. Then you'll fight this giant knight here at the end. Once you kill the knight, head through the portal, and then the next cutscene should be in. I had hoped you'd find your way back. I'm a bit lost, actually. But this feels familiar. Do I know you? Osiris? You must come home. Answer for what you have done. The Vanguard will show mercy. Yes. Ikora and Commander Zavala are nothing if not generous. Queen Mara. Look how they've welcomed the crow into their flock. It isn't too late. You can still be forgiven. Be careful. I'll hold you to it. All right. 
night, right after the cutscene, just listen to the little dialogue of the people standing in front of you. And after that, go pick up the Wayfinder Compass off to the room to the right. And then head on to the helm and head into the right-hand side of the helm where the Corsairs are set up. Where is Osiris? Lower your weapons. Osiris still lives. You trust this thing? This thing and I have come to an agreement. You need only cooperate. What is it? I am Sabathun, the Witch Queen, sister of shapes, deepest in the Hive Coven, etc., etc. My sister Zeborah hunts me on behalf of another. I wish only to be free, and Mara Salve has graciously agreed to help. And Osiris? Sweet that you should care, little bird. I have been Osiris for as long as you have known him. But rest assured, I will return him safely to you. In exchange for your assistance. Queen of Lies! Praise me if the one time you are telling truth. The Vanguard must know what has happened here. Stay, Guardians. I will go. Someone once told me that the line between light and dark is very thin. Walk it alongside me. Poor Osiris. This will guide you. A powerful relic of awoken design. Take it and return to your helm. Approach, Guardian. Believe me when I tell you that I did not know of Sabathun's deception until she arrived in the Dreaming City. She offered me a bargain. If I exercise her worm, she will release Osiris and help us defeat the Black Fleet. I recognize the risk. Her inevitable betrayal is all but a guarantee. But without her worm, Sabathun is vulnerable. Unprotected by the security of her throne room. Mortal. To separate Sabathun from the parasite inside her, I need techie ones. Skilled, awoken mystics. Few still live. Most were lost guiding my return to the Dreaming City when Zibu Ara ambushed us. But I can still feel the mind. The mystic compass you hold will reveal pathways to each lost Tekken. Relight the pathways of the Ascendant Flame and guide my people back to me. My wrath, Petravenge, will brief you further. Nice. Queen Mara has already told you we must recover our lost Techians in order to free Sabathun from her servitude to the Worm Gods. I will tell you how. Imagine the universe as a set of coins, stacked one on top of the other. The top coin is our reality. The bottom, the Ascendant Plane. Between them lies an intermeshing of ever-shifting pathways known as Ley Lines. Almost all the ancient pathways are now defunct, but beings of paracausal ability can navigate and rebuild them. This is the art of wayfinding. We know our lost Techians are stranded somewhere among the ley lines, and they're leaving us markers to follow. I'm forwarding you the coordinates to the first marker. It should tell us which ley line to look in. Then we'll use the blind well to tear open a rift and send you through to find them. Zivu Arath is desperate to capture her sister. Her forces, which now include the Taken, will attempt to stop you at every turn. Listen, I know your crow intends to accompany me. Mara also wants him close. Our Techians went to retrieve Queen Mara on my orders. This can't fail. Not because of him. Alright. So... Alright, what you want to do is go into this mission here. The alignment is found in the Dreaming City directory. It's going to be a little icon. It's another six player activity for this season. You start out in the blind well, head off to one of these side activities. Then you're teleported back to the boss once you keep the side activities and kill the boss right there and then. 
after you kill the boss, you'll end up having to head over to a pair of chests that appear at the top of the blind well. You just need to grab only the chest on the left hand side and then your We're mission is gone. done. The reef born, nice. If we are to survive the coming storm, the tower and the greening city After you pick up that chest, your quest will progress and it'll take you to the helm. Once you pick up uh go to the helm, you're going to end up getting prompted for another quest and this will be your part 1 of 7 quest line. So, the first part will just basically tell you you need to collect some of this in the Trosslin, uh, this material that you pick up. You go there, and there's these ascendant little, like, glowing boards. Pick up those. That gives you about 30 each. You'll get about 90%, and then kill a few ads or complete a public event, which will give you 75. And then once you do that, you'll head on to the next mission, which will take you to the Shadow Realm, as you see here which I'm with Velocity X. So, let me give you a fair warning. Don't be stupid like we were. We killed all the ads right here, and we did not go past the Wall of Flames, which takes you to a slow zone. So, go towards that church right there, if that's where your beacon is. And this is what the beacon looks like. It shoots a beam up in the air. Look for the beam of light shooting up. That's your clue to know where to go. So, from here, you align the beacon by just clearing out waves of enemies. Basically, blind well, per usual. Once you're done clearing the enemies out the first beacon, you head to the second one and you clear out the enemies there. Once you get the enemies done cleared out at the second beacon, you're going to head to a third beacon, which will spawn the boss. Which is one of the maidens that you're supposed to take down. Once you take her down, then you are prompted with some dialogue from both, I believe, the Crow and Marasov. It's done. The beacons are in alignment, and Zivu Arath's Actually, it's Petra. Never mind. Let's bring our lost sister home. Or it still might be both. I, I might be wrong about that. <laughs> Hello there. Look at that, bringing one of them back. There's something about this place that's just... I can't shake the feeling of dread. Like something out of a bad dream. And not just the time the High Celebrant threw <laughs> me in that pit. It's like this place is haunting me. Or you're haunting it. The Ascendant Plane is as much what you bring to it as it is what you see. Ooh, very mysterious right there, but quite true. So right after this part, you're going to head back to the helm, and you'll be heading through uh, the portal at the helm. The portal's going to take you to the Queen's Chambers, I believe. And from there, you're not going to be talking to Marsa, but you're going to be heading to talk to Sabbath Noon. So let's head on over to there. So as you see, portal right there. Oh, you do have a quick talk right here at the Wayfinder. Go ahead and make your first purchase. Which will be right there, the Barrier Breach. Alright, after you um, get the Barrier Breach, then you head on over to go and talk to Savathun. Savathun, Savathun. There's going to be a lot of funny memes coming out about her. So, turn yourself around, get up this ladder, or staircase, whatever you call it, and head through the portal. Ta-da! So, you see, the sister that you saved right there from earlier? So, there's seven parts to the Wayfinder Voyage. So, more than likely, you're going to have um, seven of these saviors or survivors or what am i ever saying and i guess each week we might get maybe some kind of dialogue or cut scene or some kind of information from seventh Dune herself i am at your mercy guardian this construct protects me 
From those who wish me harm. From my worm's hunger. But it is a prison, too. Quite elegant, don't you think? I have only one regret. And that is how long it took me to reveal myself to you. I see your synapse is firing. A specimen scarred by skepticism. They call me a liar. But we share mutual interests, you and I. If you believe anything I tell you, believe in that. Now, let me show you a different interpretation of the truth. Manipulator. <laughs> Who is Savathun, you ask? You already know. Oh, guardian mine. I am your friend. I tried to protect you from the Black Fleet. You called it interference. Don't worry. I was not offended. Instead, I found a form more pleasing to your eyes. Osiris was lost. Lightless. I saved him from Zebu Arath and assumed his shape so I could guide your victory against her. I ferried the reborn prince to your city, so he could be redeemed. I protected Zavala from Keitel's ambitions, ending a war before it could even begin. I delivered the House of Light on its knees to Ikora. I unmasked the enemies lurking inside your city's walls, and destroyed them. You may disagree with my methods, but you can't argue with results. I am no villain, and you are no hero. We are paracausal. Wow. Terrifying. Audio keeps glitching. Alright, head on over to Ikora. That's the next step. So head on over to her and give her a talk. This is my fault. I invite I convinced Zavala that we needed Osiris by our side. The dark pit looked back every time I met his eyes, and I told myself it was his grief. Savathun knew she could use that. The city is the last place Zivu Arath would have searched for her. Now, Saint is tearing the system apart, looking for the real Osiris. You and Crow will need to take point with the Awoken. I don't like it. But he wants to help, and he's earned some trust. It's his decision. We're in a downpour of revelation. I've been trying to analyze every drop of information, as if I could isolate them before they're washed away. There's so much I need to reevaluate, so much I need to do. Interrogate the Witch Queen while we have a captive audience. Our enemies often flirt with arrogance when they believe they've won. See if she'll let her true intention slip. And there you go. Their first part one of Wayfinder's Voyage is complete. So basically, the beginning of the story, the first part um, quest prologue, and there and now the end. So that was actually a lot of stuff, <laughs> a lot of footage that I had to sift through today. I hope you guys enjoyed whatever shambles of a video I just put together. And from the weeks onward, it's going to be more clear-cut. And there's Reaper jumping in the background. Thank you, everyone, and bye-bye.